Hello guys, how are you doing today? It's a pleasure having you here. And of course, what we do is talking about the financial market and how to benefit from it. So yeah, welcome once again to the channel. If you are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bells, and of course, watch the videos. So this is a quick one on the Bitcoin. Last week, we talked about the Bitcoin a couple of times. And we talked about the bullish run from this year, 2023. And now we're talking about an update, an update of last week. Now, if you look at what we have right in front of us, and obviously you can still see that extremely bullish run, as you can see, the extremely bullish front here. And of course, you can see from June this month, from the hourly time frame that is, how explosive it was. And then we also said, that price needs to rest, right? Meaning that price will most likely get into like an exhaustion. But most times, whenever price moves into a bullish run such as this, you tend to have like a sideways kind of action and then it could either continue or it could pull back. When it pulls back, it pulls back to an area probably of demand or support before, you know, the buyers reload and then it pushes higher as well. And that's why something in this manner, you could use the Fibonacci just to gauge the pullback, where it's going to pull back to. But then it could also blast up as well. But in this case, in this scenario, we had something in this manner. And then when it got to this exhaustion phase over here, to this exhaustion phase being the phase of rest, right? When it got to this area of rest, we now had a head and shoulders pattern where we had the left shoulder here, you had the head, and then you also had the right shoulder. But this right shoulder was, of course, the anticipation where you jump in on shots, meaning that you jump in for selling. As you can see, that's what we had over here. So this area here was where we marked out and then we waited for price. And while waiting for price, what happened? Lo and behold, it came back here, it gave us our price action, and then we pulled the trigger without looking back. As you pull the trigger, it could always be a loss. It could be a winner, whatever the case might be. And this is exactly what happened. We pulled the trigger here, and now it's going in our favor. We've reduced our stop loss, and we can still reduce the stop loss some more. Either you bring it down some more, or you could even move it to break even, right? Or try not to move too close and too tight. Now you can do that simply because you can see that price is now getting to this area here. Let me do another marking here. It's getting to this area here where we can easily call support. So it has got to this area of support, as you can see, support, support, a whole bunch of support over here, right? So it has got to this support area and here. You can protect your account, protect your money because price could easily push higher. Don't forget, we are in an extremely bullish run from what we can see over here. So you could get here and bounce up or you could break out from here, either break out, maybe use this place as an area of uh, a further resistance and drop down, right? Could even drop down some more, but we're using this area as a what? As a conservative, I repeat, as a conservative take profit. Don't forget, this is a CT trade. This is a counter trend trade. This head and shoulders pattern that we have here is for reverse trading. It's for going against that particular trend. And the trend here was up and we had this here. That means that we're selling but you don't just sell aggressively. You use patterns, you use candlestick uh, 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 patterns as well, chart patterns to give you your entry. And of course, you always protect your account by using proper stop loss. You calculate your risk, your volume, your loss size appropriately and so on. Have your rules, have your plan and then follow them no matter what happens. If you follow your plan and it's a loss, it's a loser, it is still a good trade. If you follow your plan and then it is what? It is a winner. It is a good trade. But if you do not listen to this, guys, if you do not follow your plan and it is a winner, that is a bad trade. Let me repeat that. You do not follow your plan, right? And it's a winner. For me, in my book, it's a bad trade, right? So this is just one a quick update on the Bitcoin. We'll do more updates on other instruments. Uh, the dollar this week has been a bit... Um, daily daily has been moving sideways for this week more or less but then we're concentrating majorly on the bitcoin for now i'm going to be rounding up this video 
if you have any question feel to ask in the future videos we will be doing further explanations giving you some heads up you can go into the videos from last week and then see for yourself what we're talking about with respect to the bitcoin because this bitcoin has caught it has caught everybody's uh attention more or less and then you have a lot of people that are already screaming buy and hold buy and hold but trust me on the higher time frames that has gotten to an area that it might still drop all the way down but let's see how price plays out and then we just follow what price is doing we react to the action of price price action thank you guys for tuning in do enjoy the rest of the day and of course make sure to protect your account accordingly by using a stop loss and calculating your risk management volume loss size based on your account balance have any question feel free to ask and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you guys enjoy the rest of the day and goodbye for now Cheers.